Can you explain to us how do your skills as a professional engineer uh, translate into uh, hand to hand combat? How do they help, in all, all honesty? Um, the more I get punched, the less I know. So. <laughs> and you were probably seconds away from the red picking you from, from top of, of Brock Lesnar. Can you talk to us a little bit about what happened to you? You know, obviously people thought you punch yourself out, but then it was your legs that, that kind of left you in the octagon against Brock Lesnar. And how, how, how have you looked at the opportunity that you got when you got the phone call from Dana about Brock's injury again? And, and again, Brock having something to do with everything around Shane Garber. Yeah, you know, um, at that fight, um, it was unfortunate what happened, uh, there, there's no excuses. Uh, I walked out of there, I left everything in the octagon. Uh, you know, I, I basically crawled out of there. And, uh, you know, you, you get back, you regroup with your coaches and team, and there's things that you have to work on. And, and those are the things that, uh, you know, we've addressed. And, uh, you know, it's uh, unfortunate for Brock and his family that, you know, he had to go through the surgery and had diverticulitis again. And, uh, you know, hopefully it's all corrected. You know, Pray for for something in that situation. You don't want to see any athlete or, or anybody or uh, have to go through those type of situations. But uh, you know, I, I jumped at the the chance to fight Junior. He's a, a top heavyweight. Uh, I'm excited for this fight, and uh, he, you know the fans should be excited for this fight because I guarantee that uh, we're two explosive guys and we both hit hard. Uh, yeah, you know, it's like I said after that fight, this, this injury has been nagging me for a while. I've, I've had nerve blocks uh, put into my uh, neck to, to help uh, the inflammation on the nerves. Unfortunately, the, the bone, bone grew in around the nerves bad enough where it was closing them off on the right side. And, uh, you know, the surgeon said that, uh, you know, we couldn't put the band-aid on it anymore and, and the surgery was necessary. So, um, you know, rehab is a long process after that, especially after they tear through all the, the layers of muscle and stuff. So. Uh, you know, missing the guys on the team and not being able to help out, the, you know, guys like Brendan Schaub and Elliot Marshall and Nate Marquardt, you know, that probably hurt the worst. And, uh, you know, just to be back with those guys, uh, you know, they're my family. And, uh, it's a great opportunity and I just feel really blessed to be here. How do you break down your technical boxing skills and your overall striking compared to Junior and compared to other heavyweights? Uh, you know, Junior, he does that. He's got great boxing and it's, it's basically it's what's got him here. You know, he's one of the top heavyweights in the world and one of the top fighters in the world. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, I'm no new opponent to the top opponents here in the UFC. So, you know, this is the fourth top ten guy I fought in the UFC. And, uh, you know, I'm excited to bring my skills and, um, you know, see what happens on Saturday. This is uh, going to be an explosive fight. I believe in my power and knocking people out, and I know he does as well.